Oi pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? Meu nome é Bebe Rosa, eu tenho 9 aninhos de idade e hoje eu estou aqui para ler para você o primeiro livro da coleção As Sete Virtudes História do Santinho do Gavião, da Dorinha Aguiar. Aí eu vou ler hoje A Bonitinha a Galinha Amorosa. Então vamos lá! Cutie the Loving Hand by Dorinha Aguiar. <laughs> Cutie is a happy and loving hen that lives at the Hawks Little Ranch. There are other animals that live there, such as Cookie the Cow. Muddy, the little pig and Quickie, the little frog, are always around the lake. At the top of the highest tree is Kakara. In the woody hills to the east lives Muruki. The happy monkey close to the mine is Caramel, the puma. She was given this name because of Bruno who always wanted to see a puma, the same color as a caramel candy, of course. And what about being sweet as candy? No way, she was no sweet. But when it comes to popularity, this belongs to Cutie, a short-legged hen. Since she was very young, she was very loving towards her tiny siblings. Till the moment she started to lay her on eggs. Eggs from other animals, too. At the chicken coop, where all of the types of animals sleep, to hide from caramel. The puma, cutie, is the guardian of the eggs. She can't see a single little egg left anywhere. She takes to her nest. Slowly, she rolls it with her beak very carefully. That's the reason her nest is always full of eggs. She carefully sits on them to keep them warm and well protected. White, green and even blue eggs. Ever seen a blue or green egg? Some eggs are big, some are small. Night and day, Cutie sits on the eggs as she needs some coats. It was the only time of the day that she could sit quietly because when the eggs hatch and the little chicks are born, there is so much to do and so much to teach them. One day, when Cutie was knitting a pink coat, she started to feel some movement and hear some noise. Crack, crack, crack. She got up from the nest and the little happy faces of her chicks started to appear. Some happier than others. Others a bit sleepy. It was a party. Cutie sisters and her husband, the rooster, Spur, were always around to celebrate together. Cuties is always the happiest one around. She gets charmed by her little chicks, some yellow, some in different shades of gray, and some very white. And this time, there was a brown one, just like Cutie. A party of colors and different sounds. Oh, how can they make so much noise? From the moment they were born, every morning, 
cutie claws out to the new cheeks like this. <laughs> and when they hear the call, the little cheeks run and stay closer to their mom. Cutie scratches the ground with her feet quickly. She scratches again, again and again. That's how she teaches her chicks to look for food. Some learn quickly, some don't learn as fast or don't learn at all. It's not a problem for Cutie. She understands that each one has a special way to do something. Pee Ping and Lindy play like they are in a circus. He wants to be a magician and she wants to be a juggler. Guinea Fo and his brothers can lift little pebbles from the ground. They dream of being soccer players. Brownie lives like he's got his head in the clouds. He is going to be an astronaut. Chiki with a flower in her hand dances like a queen. She's a ballerina. Out of all these chicks are the quiet ones. They don't fight it easy. To scratch and peck. Their little feet are different and their round beak doesn't make it any easier when it comes to get their food. And many people believe they are lazy, but that's not what Kiri thinks. To her, this difference don't really matter. She doesn't like people talking bad about her children. She only sees good qualities in her chicks. One morning, when the sun was rising, so shy over the mountains, it was possible to hear nature calling. <coughs> it was Spur the rooster, who wakes up every one in the morning, every single day, before the sun shines bright. Cutie quickly got up from the warm nest. She hurried up and started scratching the ground as usual to get the breakfast ready. That's when she realized the quack quacks were gone. Where did those boys go? She looked here and there and finally she stretched her neck and saw beyond the chicken coop. What a surprise! They were happily marching towards the danger, the lake. She, in a rush of blood, ran in their direction, with her heart full of fear. She even cackled, tried to imitate Spurs' bravery, while flapping her wings as much as she could to get the attention of those runaways. However, her efforts were in vain. She heard them walk, walk, walk. The three little duckies fell in the water. Cutie almost passed out. Naughty boys! She clucked, getting near the lake. She ran from one side to the other, totally desperate. She knows the chicks weren't able to swim. Not worry about their mother's desperation. The quack quacks started to crease the calm waters. They formed a white line from behind the water and they were so happy. It was possible to see that on their faces. Cutie could only watch as they dug their faces in the water and started to shake their tail feather. They could see the world in a different way, with sunlight shining from inside the water. Oh, colorful fishes! Hooray, fishes! Yummy, yummy! 
and the quack quacks made it back to the side of the lake. Cutie was unsure whether to laugh or cry. She was so angry with them for a split second because it really frightened her to see them in the water. But then she held them forgively. She was so relieved. She tried to dry off their feathers, but she realized they were not wet at all. Weird, she thought. What a nightmare. In the end, everything turned out to be fine. Everyone is different, but we all have a place in the heart of those who love us. From that day on, Quack Quack and Quick felt free like the wind. But they have never stopped loving Cutie and their siblings Piripin, Lindy and Tiki and also the guinea fowl who decided to stand up and embrace their differences. They had just started from that time to do amazing things in their own way. Cutie, the lovely hen, keeps doing the same thing by adopting different acts. After such a fright, she has never had to worry about her children being naughty and remains following her heart, being happy and clucky. <laughs> My children are so beautiful. Oi pessoal, tudo bem? Espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo, tudo bem? Se vocês quiserem é, assistir a versão em português da história da galinha, é melhor vocês clicarem aqui no link embaixo para vocês acessarem o vídeo da história da galinha amorosa em português. Hoje, a nossa primeira virtude de hoje foi a virtude do da compaixão, do amor incondicional que a galinha tinha pelos seus filhos naturais que vieram dela mesma e pelos adotivos que não vieram dela mesma, que ela pegou para cuidar deles então se vocês gostaram desse vídeo pessoal deixa o like nesse vídeo se inscreve no canal porque assim você não perde nenhum vídeo, tudo bem? Até o próximo vídeo e virtude bye bye pessoal